Yeah, I really, I really feel like there's more, at least here in, uh, in Winnipeg where we're at. I really feel like there's more winter days than, than there are summer days, you know? Watch my step and stretch us out here. There's, yeah, there's definitely more winter days than there are summer days. I mean, I mean, I guess they say it's supposed to be like, I mean, supposed to be like summer and the other half of the year is supposed to be like winter, but it's not, it's more like, I mean, like for those, uh, uh, if you that, you know, especially Jamaicans, hi baby, that, uh, why are you collecting poop? Hmm? Why are you collecting poop? That's Bentley's poop. Oh, that was Bentley's poop? Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. That's just being a responsible pet owner then. Good job. See ya. Feel like, you know, the other day I, I made a comment. I said that, you know, it, it, it's just that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, right? Except it's not. Because it's a big thing in Jamaica that they feel like people that get a shot to come to foreign, as we call it, that that's the, you know, that we on easy street after that, you know, because apparently, you know, even when I was a child, Frank come my farm, you know, it's like the, the Wizard of Oz, you know, it followed the yellow brick road, you know, the <laughs> streets are paved with gold and every, everybody got a money tree in their backyard. And, and when we need money, we just, we just got to go out there and pluck it off that money tree, you know? And, and the reality, hey Bentley, hold us a second for me please, sweetie. Hey buddy, thank you. Thank you, sweetie. The reality, the re oh, honey, the reality is really just that. Thank you, sweetie. Life is what you make it. You know what I mean? Honestly, life is life is really and truly just what you make it. And happiness is a choice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are in this world. It doesn't matter your circumstance and your situation. You know, take an example from children. If you look at children in third world country countries, right? Living under some of the most heinous conditions imaginable to men. And yet, they still find a way to be happy. I think there's valuable lessons there, you know? And I think as adults, that we can really learn from that. Because I'm convinced that happiness is a choice, regardless of my... I heard something the other day, they said that... Whatever your circumstance, you know, what's, what is making you unhappy? And, you know, you list the things that are making you unhappy. And that's just your circumstance. That's just your situation. Exactly. You know, you can always change your circumstance. You can always change your situation. You know, and choose to be happy. For me, it's kind of easy because, you know, joy coming, my joy, my strength, my joy coming from the Lord. So, I mean, for me, it really is just easy. It's really just that simple. However, if you're struggling with that, in your own personal life, I just suggest to you just just make a decision, make a conscious decision, make a conscious choice to say, hey, I choose to be happy. That's it. That's it. Just just make a conscious decision and make a conscious choice to be happy. And and work at that. Like anything else. You you gotta work at it. You know? Relationships, your job, whatever, anything meaningful, you, you should work at it. So when you say that I choose to be happy, you can't choose to. Nice save, Bucky. Whoa! Dang! Did you just get stuffed point blank? Dang! Wow! I'm rusty. <laughs> you rusty? No, you broke. Get out of here. About you rusty. <laughs> oh no! You you can't you can't say that I choose to be happy and continue to do the same things that were making you miserable. Hmm? That's, that's just not going to work. That's not a good idea. You cannot say that I am making a conscious choice, determined effort to be happy 
and then continue to do the same things that was making you miserable. So if you say, I choose to be happy, well, that might involve making some tough choices, letting go of certain things that, you know, we love our misery, don't we? We do, as people, I think it's our human nature. We love our misery. Our miserable is comfortable, we know it, you know? You know, we resort to that comfortable behavior because it's easy, it's comfortable. My wife has been saying a lot lately that God will make us uncomfortable when he wants us to change. That's a true fact. That's a true fact. Because if you're comfortable, what, what encourages you to change? What's going to encourage you to change? So if you're uncomfortable in life, maybe God is trying to tell you something. I don't know. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I'm only speaking on my own lived experience. If it can help you, great. If it's not for you, disregard it. Don't get mad, just, you know. Keep it moving, it's fine. Hey, Benny. But you can't say that I choose to be happy and be doing the same stuff that was causing you to be unhappy. Change isn't easy. It's scary. But when you got kids, man, Especially when you got daughters, it's worth it. So I saw something this one time not long ago it says, fellas, it says, if you had daughters, it said, close your eyes for a minute. And so I closed my eyes. Well, I read it all first, but I, I went through the motions, right? And it said, close your eyes. Now imagine that your daughter, your beautiful princess, whom you love so much, I mean, look at them. I get to watch them grow. You know? Get to encourage them to be good, godly, decent, and kind. The boys and the girls, but right now we're talking about the girls. Right? And say, now imagine that one of your beautiful daughters is dating somebody like you. Did you smile? They say, if not, change. See, for me, I ain't, you know, I'm only speaking to my own lived life experience. For me, that was easy. What's that, baby? Uh-huh. For me, that was easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for me, I just said, shoot. I guess I'm going to have to change. <laughs> Stay blessed, y'all. Happiness is a choice. Faith, family, food, and fitness.